Okay, so uh, what we're going to do here is we are going to uh, learn a little bit, just a little bit, on how to get something that is a photograph into uh, a vector graphic, something that is uh, rasterized or just a photograph in PNG, hopefully, uh, format. Could be JPEG. JPEG is going to introduce a little bit more noise. But we're going to just get started on how to get it in as a, uh, a vector file. Uh, and there are probably, there I'm certain there's lots of tutorials that tell you how to do this a little bit better. But I'm going to just get started. So I've taken a photograph and uh, I took it with just the camera on my computer. And I'm going to import it. And I have it in here. It's this one right there. Let me open it up. And I'm going to just use all these default settings. And there it is. And so what I want to do is I want to trace it. And here is the trace function. And you can see there's a lot of settings. And it gives you a preview. And I've got it set to live update. And I'm going to just let it be the way it is because I'm getting a reasonably good trace. It's a little bit noisy here. Uh, you see I've got smooth set. Uh, and that apparently makes it smoother. And I've got that done. And now we can go and we can take a look. We can close this window. We can select the background photograph and we can delete it. Here's the tracing. I can go in, I can select the tracing. And right now it's got a fill selected. I'm going to turn the fill off and then I'm going to give it a stroke. And now we can see the tracing and there's the tracing. And so you can see I've got a reasonably good tracing of this thing. And I can start to fiddle with it if I want. Uh, let me zoom in. I can select this and I can select all of those and delete them and all of these and delete them. And then I can go in and I can fix the problems that I have and simplify and get it all cleaned up in the way I want it to and eliminate the hand. Um, and so that's how you can do a tracing. If you're going to do it, it behooves you to get rid of as much of the extraneous information as you can before you do it. Like not having my hand in that photograph would have really helped. Uh, I'm not an expert, but uh, there you have it. And uh, if you have more questions about that, you might be better off going and looking for uh, better tutorials that are out there. Uh, this is Lewis Katz.